I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of the New York Times' Dealbook here with my colleague Evelyn Rusley, and we just broke a big story about Goldman Sachs making a $450 million investment in Facebook. But perhaps the bigger news, the headline, is that the valuation for Facebook is a whopping $50 billion with a B. Evelyn, what does this mean for Facebook and what does it mean for Silicon Valley? I mean, over the past year, Facebook's valuation has been rising. People have been talking about a 40 or so billion dollar valuation, but this puts a stamp at $50 billion. And for them, I mean, that's a lot of capital for them to go out abroad, to continue to get traction in places like China, which we know that Mark Zuckerberg, the founder, is interested in. He recently went on a trip to China. And of course, they've been trying to get the best talent in Silicon Valley. They've been hiring a lot of people from Google. So if they have all that capital, that's another incentive for them to be able to get the best talent. And will they be able to use some of that to actually cash out some of their early investors yeah. who may have invested at lower valuations as well? That's the expectation. And for a lot of these rounds that we've seen over the past year, we've seen huge venture rounds where a lot of these employees, such as in the case of Groupon, have been able to cash out a significant sum. Now, Groupon, which was just last week, they've secured about $500 million in new funding, about $300 million of that. The bulk of that is going towards reimbursing uh, you know, these people who are on the director's now, board. Now, let's talk a little bit about Goldman Sachs, mm -hmm. because they have a huge role in this. And this may have a big statement in terms of what it means to Wall Street and what it means for Goldman itself, a huge coup in a way for them. Yeah. I mean, some people might look at Goldman Sachs and Facebook and say this is somewhat incongruous. You know, why is Goldman sinking in $400 million plus into Facebook? But the thing is, for Goldman, it gives them a front seat or really puts them at the front of the line for a possible IPO in Facebook, which many expect to be now in 2012. Let's spin this story forward. You know, the SEC has an inquiry ongoing uh, that our colleague Peter Lattman broke last week into the private share market of companies like and including mm -hmm. Facebook, Twitter, Zynga, LinkedIn. And the SEC has a rule that says that private companies have to start disclosing their information publicly after they break a threshold of 499 individuals. Now, as part of this transaction, Goldman Sachs is going to raise an additional billion five mm -hmm. from their high net worth clients. Is this something that the SEC is going to look favorably upon? Yeah, well, it's not only Goldman Sachs. I mean, there have been other Facebook investors that have created these special investment pools where there's, you know, several, several clients inside, but then they only count as one investor. So then the question is, you know, is, this, is the SEC going to let this fly going forward? And it's kind of unclear whether or not that's going to happen. And if they're going to push Facebook to IPO earlier than it wants to. It's an interesting story. Evelyn Rusley, thank you so much. I'm Andrew Ross Sorkin of The New York Times' Dealbook.